I'm now in Wuhan's Up6 Valley, the birthplace of the Chinese optoelectronic industry. Heraldors working in the industry helping to develop the next generation of advanced technologies. Let's go and take a look. I visited the laboratory for an optoelectronic information company. A team here is going for the final rounds of testing before their latest transceiver modules start being mass produced this year. These are called silicon photonics that the company has been developing for four years. And this 800 gigabit one is their latest model and has reached the world's advanced level. It may sound a bit far removed from people's lives, but they're actually applied in our everyday activities. Online activities such as watching videos, video gaming or conferencing require a large amount of data moving across a network. A module like this is essential to operate with our data devices. With mass production of the 800 gigabit optical module due to start this year, the business has already begun working on new generation products aiming to accelerate domestic photonic chip replacement. And it's not just large businesses, startups and new ventures also grabbing headlines. In this laboratory at Huazhong University, Professor Cheng Jianghui and his team have been researching new developments in inkjet printing for 15 years. But while scientific research is one thing, Turn it into commercial products is more challenging. We needed a manufacturing plant in order to take up newly developed equipment out of the campus lab and onto the production line. Their technology was seen as a potential replacement for foreign suppliers, for screen panel companies operating in Optics Valley. When those companies learn about the team's progress, they were eagerly anticipating their product. Can their equipment really replace the foreign components? Along with generating economic benefits, more importantly, it will consolidate a safety framework for the industry. On learning about the team's achievements, the local government soon invested 18 million U.S. dollars. Due to COVID in recent years, our economic development has slowed down and our local financial budget has also been affected. Still, the funding for supporting research and innovation has been doubled and redoubled year by year. Have a look at this newly built manufacturing base. The interior construction has just finished. But this screen printing technology has already been added to the production line. We have gone from zero to one and are looking forward to the journey from one to infinity. Chen says there is still a long way to go. China has become the world's top producer of display panels, but it's relatively weak in developing the core equipment needed. But efforts are quickly being made to change that, and this is one of the places that will be key to that success. Huangchang, CCTN, Wuhan, Hubei Province.